How did the ugliest footwear become the coolest fashion brand? Hello, and welcome to Ad Brief. Today, we will talk about how Crocs, once called the ugliest footwear, became the coolest fashion brand. Crocs is one of the hottest fashion brands in the world right now. The company is doing very well financially, but many are still curious how it managed to become this successful after the brink of death in 2008. Some may still not understand who in the world would want to wear them, but the reality is that millions of people do. In fact, Crocs has sold over 850 million pairs of shoes since its launch in 2002 and is being sold to 85 countries worldwide. It is also one of the world's 10 largest non-athletic footwear brands with an annual sales of 2.3 billion. So let's take a step back and see how it all started. In 2000, Three friends named Scott Siemens, Lyndon Duke Hansen, and George Bodecker Jr. came up with a simple idea when they were sailing through the Caribbean. The idea is to make an alternative to the typical boat shoes. The shoes were initially made to be used by boaters, but they were so comfortable that people began wearing them in everyday situations. This pushed them to manufacture more footwear and launch Crocs in 2002. In 2005, Crocs Inc. went public on the New York Stock Exchange. They were able to raise over over $200 million in its IPO, the biggest in the footwear industry. Since its IPO in 2005, Crocs has been able to maintain a steady growth rate of about 70% and reached about $75 per share in 2007. 2007 was their peak year in the early 2000s. They had also seen success in international markets such as Europe and China. So to keep up with the demand, they aggressively opened a lot of distribution channels and manufactured thousands of SKUs. Then the Great Recession came in 2008, which was the beginning of its downturn. In 2008, Crocs lost over $185 million. Many people lost faith in the brand and it even became a laughingstock that its stock price plunged from $75 to about $1 in the span of one year. The succeeding years were filled with struggles as they lost a lot of investors, customers, evangelists, and employees. Time even featured it as one of the 50 worst inventions, which spiked more negative publicity toward the brand. But publicity is still publicity, right? Crocs had garnered a lot of attention from the public that people created memes and made fun of it. This somehow made them visible in the public eye, especially in the digital age where everyone relies on social media. They even got the attention of younger generations. We all know that millennials and Gen Zs have great purchasing power, which is why brands are targeting them. So instead of sulking, they capitalized on the attention they got. The challenge was more of switching that perception to their advantage. Because Crocs used to be a footwear brand for the older generation who prefers comfort over style. So the question is, how did Crocs come back from the dead? They have become a brand icon and now everyone wants to wear them, but why? Crocs were originally ugly shoes made for comfort, not fashion. They're even one of the most popular high-end fashion brands out there, with sales constantly growing every year since they started listening to the public. So how and when did they become the cool thing to wear? The comeback kickstarted in 2015 when they applied their Rose from the Dead formula, reassess, social listening, and leverage pop culture. I guess all good things come in threes. So let's break down their marketing strategies into three. Firstly, we're gonna look at how they focused on embracing individuality through their campaigns to boost brand esteem and relevance. They had to take a step back, reassess, and listen to their online audience. Here's how they did it. In 2015, their goal was to save the brand and make it relevant again. Crocs wanted to reignite consumers' interest, especially in its six key markets, US, UK, Germany, China, Japan, and South Korea. Their first key step was to listen to the market's motivations and interests by conducting interviews and focus group discussions around the world. With this, they uncovered that individuality was prevalent and was something that their target consumers value. They noticed that people around the world are embracing self-expression and it's creating a cultural shift. In the US, nonconformity is a trend that has been gaining momentum over the last decade among millennials who are seeking ways to express their individuality. The world is becoming more diverse. 
people are breaking the mold and making themselves stand out, which is something Asia has been doing for centuries. They have a deep appreciation for fashion and style, and people are proud to wear what they want and how they want to wear it. And since Crocs had been receiving mockery and hate at the time because of its unconventional style, they used that as inspiration in their two biggest comeback campaigns, the Find Your Fun and Come As You Are campaigns. Find Your Fun was executed in the US, UK, Germany, Japan, China, and South Korea, and encouraged consumers to hashtag find your fun through experiential activations of the iconic clogs in the busiest landmarks and destinations. From Piccadilly Circus in London, Shibuya Crossing in Tokyo, Las Vegas, Times Square in New York, as well as Berlin, Seoul, Shanghai, Hamburg, and a desert island. This gained a lot of attention, that the media picked it up, which resulted in 28% increase in stock value. In 2017, they launched another campaign that aims to bring awareness to the fact that everyone is different and shouldn't feel embarrassed about who they are or how they're different from others. The Come As You Are campaign encourages everyone to be themselves and celebrate what makes them unique which is timely and relevant to their target market, the millennials and Gen Zs. As we all know, Gen Z is the most woke generation. Gen Zs in general are not afraid to express themselves. Wearing Crocs has become a symbol of embracing their individuality. It showed that people are not into conforming rules. Crocs has even gained a lot of popularity in recent years for its comfortable, stylish, and fun designs, which everyone can relate to. The Come As You Are campaign was a well-thought-out plan, as it showcased a sustainable, holistic marketing rollout from digital marketing, social media, and TV advertisements to in-store promotions that made it successful. It started with a manifesto video featuring celebrities from different parts of the world, Drew Barrymore, John Cena, Yuna, and Henry Lau. And to build momentum, they even deployed a Snapchat lens that allowed consumers to express what makes them unique in a fun and shareable way, which attracted 4 million people in its first 10 days. In stores, they launched the Crocs Gibbets charms as part of the Come As You Are campaign. It clicked, and people can't help but want to collect all of the Crocs Gibbets charms. They're especially popular with kids and adults, but they're also great gifts for any occasion. From moms to pop stars, Crocs are everywhere in 2021. This campaign has definitely improved brand desirability, relevance, and esteem, as their social media channel's engagement rate dramatically increased by 250%. They earned $12.5 million in the first quarter, up to 73.6% as sales of $283.1 million improved by 5.7%. The Come As You Are campaign was just their initial step in making the brand relevant again. Now, secondly, we're going to deep dive into how they managed to boost brand perception and become a fashion brand in just a few years. The key, you ask? It's social listening to secure relevant collaborations. Remember when the athleisure style became a trend in 2017? Crocs rode that trend and even used it as an entry point to the fashion runway by collaborating with the prominent designer, Christopher Kane. It was so well received in the luxury fashion scene that Crocs managed to position itself as a fashion piece. This has opened the gates for them that Balenciaga even partnered with them. They started collaborating with brands, designers, and artists in different fields. They collaborated with influential artists like Justin Bieber, Post Malone, and many more. Some of their iconic brand collaborations are with A-Life, Left Hand LA, Pizza Slime, Vivian Tam, Liberty London, Madewell, KFC, Vera Bradley, Benefit, Bretman Rock, and Stance. Their initial cross collaborations really paid off as Crocs doubled its e-commerce growth and increased its revenue by 8.5% in 2018. This is why you will see them continuing this marketing strategy with their left and right collaborations. Their latest brand collaboration that shook the fashion world was their second time collaboration with Balenciaga for Summer 22 collection. This just shows that Crocs is really entering the high-end fashion market. They really listened well to the public's opinion and used it to their advantage. They learned what the public liked and did not like about their products. People love that Crocs are comfortable and durable, 
but find the designs unappealing and distasteful, especially to younger generations. They paid close attention to this and integrated the qualities that the public wanted while remaining true to their brand values. Finally, last but not least, is their greatest marketing strategy by far, which has brought huge revenue despite the challenges brought by the pandemic that closed down some major brands. When some brands were ending their operations, Crocs was having a stronger presence in the digital space. They boosted their brand relevance and penetrated the Gen Z market by dominating the social media, most especially TikTok. As a follow-through to their Come As You Are campaign, Crocs dominated TikTok with the hashtag $1,000Crocs challenge in 2019. In less than 36 hours after its launch, the challenge had amassed 95 million views. They even got over 100,000 followers in just a week. They have been doing bizarre yet weirdly fun and satisfying challenges, such as the Crocs shoes throwing and shaving cream challenges, that quickly went viral. They knew that humor is the game on this platform and played it well. That's why they were able to garner 3.1 million likes. They even reached a record-breaking revenue of $1.23 billion in 2019. This just shows that social media is key to boosting companies' income with fewer expenditures. Croc stock price in 2019 even blew up to 500% increase versus 2017. They even launched another video featuring Zoe Deschanel, Natalie Dormer, and more together with the Crocs Fan Ambassador Contest on Facebook. Their strong social media presence made them one of the most popular brands for teens in 2020 and increased their revenue by 57% from 2020 to 2021. Apparently, social media listening is key to salvage a brand from extinction. Many people are still doubtful, saying that its growth is just a temporary fad, but Crocs' spirit is unwavering. They managed to rise from the brink of extinction and even come back stronger than before. This is just the beginning for them, as the management has big plans for the brand. They even launched a Crocs app to strengthen their relevance because community and discussions are crucial to Gen Zs. The goal is to reach $2.5 billion in digital sales by 2026. So let's keep an eye on it. And that's all for now for today's video. Hope you enjoyed it. If you'd like to see more of what we do, please remember to like, subscribe, and turn notifications on for future videos. And we'll catch you again next time.